Hello, everyone. My name is Yu Chao Kong. I'm from National Institute for Environmental Studies. Today, I would like to talk about the evidence for the development of energy resonance in Fukushima Prefecture after the Great East Japan earthquake. Now, let me introduce the research background. Taking the lessons from the Great East Japan earthquake, the nuclear reliant energy policy in Fukushima has been transferred to fossil fuel and renewable energy for better resilience towards the future disaster. Combating the global warming, Fukushima Prefecture made more efforts on promotion of renewable energy than fossil fuel. Feeding tariff scheme of renewable energy, renewable energy promotion vision, Fukushima Airport mega solar project, and so on. Now my questions are, how does the energy system develop after the GJE? Whether the resonance of its energy system is enough? Okay, let me introduce the study area. Fukushima Prefecture is the blue area shown on the right map. It owns the third largest area in Japan and a population of 1.8 million more. As the purple dot shown on the map, the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station was destroyed by the tsunami, leading to a huge economic and environmental impacts. In this study, we will talk about this uh, impacts on the energy system. The work floor is shown in Finger 2. At first, the facility name, capacity, and the location of these facilities were collected from a power plant database, and the capacities were updated until 2020. Then, these facilities were mapped as points by their coordinates. Finally, the capacities and gap before and after the GEGE was summarized by a one kilometer resolution mesh. The energy system in 2010 is made as the condition before the GEGE, and which in 2020 is made as that after the GEGE. To clarify the condition of energy system before the GEGE, we summarize the total capacity of uh, facilities by types. As shown in the left figure, the total capacity of nuclear power in 2010 accounted for the largest proportion of uh, 48%, for the fuel power 40%, and the renewable power 12%. As shown in the right figure, we give the distribution for the 231 power plants. The blue dot with a red star inside shown the plant with the largest capacity. And from this figure, we found most of them belong to the hydropower facilities. For the condition of energy system after the GEGE, as shown on the left figure, we could see that the total capacity of nuclear power went to zero and the other two types of facilities were both increased. The total number of uh, facilities were increased to 625. As shown on the right figure, we found most of them belong to the solar power facilities. To exploit the relationship between the spatial distribution of uh, power facilities and the population, we overlaid the municipal population map and the facility point map together. From there, this figure we found. These facilities are mainly concentrated in the municipalities with a higher population, and there is a high potential to develop the renewable energy in the areas with lower population. To capture the total capacity gap before and after the GEGE, we summarize it by a 1 km resolution mesh, as shown in finger file. The red grids located on the eastern coastal areas show the currently constructed facilities 
with large capacities. In the middle areas, the number of grids are more than the eastern areas, where power facilities are with lower gap because much more solar power facilities newly constructed there. Meanwhile, there have been almost no facilities constructed in the western areas, where belong to low population density areas. It reflects the fact that the increased capacities of facilities mainly concentrated in the population intensive areas since the GEJE. The conditions of the electricity supply facilities before and after the GEGE were listed on Table 1. We could see that the facility number and total capacities of solar power increased significantly, which proved a high development of uh, renewable energy. The capacities of biomass coal-fired power plants increased most of all, and the total facility number was increased, however, total capacity of all plants were decreased due to the shutdown of nuclear power. To explore the evidences for the development, we summarized the total capacities of facilities certificated by the FIT scheme and gave the distribution of them by municipalities. We found the capacity of solar power certificated has increased in this period, which is consistent with the trend for solar power indicated before. The total capacity of all facilities increased from 17 million watts to 1,700 million watts, which gives the evidence for the development of renewable energy. The figure below gives evidence for a high development on the renewable energy in middle and eastern areas. To evaluate whether the resonance of its energy system is enough or not, we summarize the indicators related to the energy supply and consumption in Fukushima before and after the GEE. The needed operating ratios for current facilities were derived based on the real total electricity supply and the total capacity of power facilities. The needed operating ratio in 2019 is lower than the mean operating ratio of solar power. Thus, it is reasonable for the current facilities to meet the demand, which demonstrated its energy resonance was enough. As reported by IEA, the energy conversion efficiency of the fossil fuel power is lower than the renewable power. It means the renewable power can save more energy than fossil fuel power. Renewable energy is also endless, requires less maintenance and operating costs, and more healthy and environmental benefits. Promoting the renewable energy is critical for the urban energy residents. Through this study, we concluded that the nuclear power with major power supplier in Fukushima and only a few renewable energy facilities existed before the GEJE. The capacities of hydropower and biomass coal-fired facilities accounted for the high production at that time. After the GEJE, the, the energy system was transferred from nuclear reliant type to a distributed power type. Up to now, the number and the total capacity of renewable energy facilities increased significantly, comparing to that before the GEJE, especially for the solar power. The evidences showed that energy resonance in Fukushima was developed enough 
so as to face the risk from the future disaster and extreme climate events. The FIT scheme was well promoted in Fukushima, making its energy system more resilient. Thus, this kind of energy policy should be highlighted. Okay, thank you very much for your attention.